When reading green, start from behind the putt and just look at the overall slope of the green. Try to find the high side of the green and the ball is always going to break from high to low. So when you set up behind the putt, try to visualize the arc that you think the putt needs to roll on to go into the hole. I always look at where the apex is and I follow the apex all the way into the hole and see where the ball is going to enter the hole. Obviously on a right to left putt, the, hole's going to have, the ball is going to have to enter the hole on the right side. So as I'm back here visualizing the apex, I'm thinking about the ball rolling through the apex and entering on the right side of the hole. So as I get over this putt, my eyes are out on the apex of the, of the putt and I'm seeing the whole arc of the putt all the way into the hole. I make a couple practice strokes looking out at that apex and then as I roll it, I trust the slope of the green is going to bring the ball into the hole. I don't try to help it go over there with my body. I basically try to hit a straight putt out to the apex. Hopefully I've got the right speed so the ball's got a chance to enter on the high side of the hole or the right side of the hole. Once the ball breaks below the hole, you have no chance of making it. So if you can always err on the high side on a right to left putt, which would be the right side of the hole, you'll have a chance of making it. If it gets below the hole, you have no chance. So find the high point, find the apex, visualize the ball going through the apex and where it will ultimately enter the hole. If you do that and get your speed matched to it, you'll have a good chance of making these breaking putts.